Welcome to the video series, The Slit Lamp Exam. This video explains the optical phenomena in slit lamp examinations. It covers four important optical phenomena that can be observed when examining the eye with a slit lamp. Light scattering. Specular reflection. Refraction. And absorption. Light scattering. Light scattering occurs when light passes through an optically imperfect medium and is deflected from a straight path. This can be observed when a car turns on its headlights in dense fog. The water drops in the air are illuminated by the headlights and scatter the light. During the slit lamp examination, this phenomena is frequently observed. For example, in this case of corneal infiltrate. The light is scattered and provides information about the dimension of the lesion. Or in this case of ocular inflammation, the light is scattered by the inflammatory proteins in the aqueous humor. Light scattering can best be observed when a large illumination angle is used. With a small illumination angle, the field where you can observe light scattering is restricted. Therefore, in most cases, you will create light scattering with an illumination angle of greater than 45 degrees. Specular reflection. In specular reflection, or mirror-like reflection, the incident light is reflected into a single outgoing direction. This can be observed when a landscape is reflected in a lake which has a smooth surface. Irregularities in this mirror-like surface disturb the reflection and thus become easily visible. During slit lamp examination, this phenomena can be used when examining irregularities on the ocular surface, like in this case of herpetic keratitis. Or in more specific cases, such as abnormalities in the corneal endothelium. When choosing the observation angle, you have to keep in mind that according to the law of reflection, the angle of the incident light equals the reflected light, Peripheral areas of the cornea require an increased illumination angle, while more central locations require a decreased illumination angle. Refraction. Refraction is the change of direction of light as it passes from one transparent medium to another. This can be observed on water drops on a glass surface. Because of the refracted light, they appear darker in some areas than in others. During slit lamp examination, this phenomena can be observed, for example, in these cysts, which are in the anterior cortex of the lens, or in this case of corneal dystrophy. To create refraction, an indirect light source is required. Structures such as the iris, the lens, or the retina can be used to provide reflected light. The illumination angle depends on how the reflecting structure is to be illuminated in order to create the desired refraction phenomena. Absorption. Absorption occurs in media which are not fully transparent. In our example, the bird blocks the light of the setting sun completely and just shows a silhouette. During slit lamp examination, this phenomena can be used for assessing subtle changes. In this case of corneal neovascularization, it allows to distinguish perfused vessels from empty vessels. Or it can demonstrate an iris atrophy by transillumination. To achieve this type of illumination, light is reflected from a more posterior structure, such as the retina, the iris, or the lens. Like for the refraction phenomena, the illumination angle depends on how the reflecting structure is to be illuminated in order to create the desired absorption phenomena. Thank you for watching. The Hogstrite team wishes you a lot of success in exploring these optical phenomena during the slit lamp examination. This episode was made possible with the following contributions.